it's game day. Game one of the wild card series for the Minnesota Twins. It's about 9.30 in the morning. Rosters haven't even been announced yet. Um, I was, I don't even know how you, you put it, nervous or anxious or I don't even know how to explain. Um, amped up, but I've been uh, definitely feeling it. Yesterday and today especially, I'm uh, uh, feeling it. That's like, yeah, whatever you want to call it, I'm feeling it. Um, I just want this so badly for, you know, all of us fans, um, even just thinking about it, you know, um, bring, brings on some feels. So, um, again, I'm, I'm, I believe, I believe that they're going to do it this year. Um, I believe these are the guys to do it. Um, you know, no disrespect to Toronto, which is a tremendous team. Um, you know, uh, uh. So you, you could look at that team and say that's a World Series team. Um, you know, they're, again, nothing, this isn't going to be easy. Um, but I think this is, this is the time. This is the time. It's about 8.45, you know, the game started at 3.38 or whatever the official game time was. It's a beauty. Raindrops falling down, nothing falls from raindrops. So, Twins fans showed out, man. I was impressed. Um, I thought I felt like this fan base really showed out. Did an amazing job. I, I was expecting more Blue Jays fans. You know, I get it. I get it. I get it. We're we're a little bit apprehensive. We're a little bit more prone to cheer once something goes well. Uh, I get it. I get it. You know, I'm guessing tomorrow things will be a bit different. And now that we got this one, now that we got this one, it's going to be a little, a little bit different. Um, but. You know, I, I, yeah, I was out there. You, I think you could probably tell by the way I sound. I was out there screaming my brains out. Um, but Twins fans showed out. I love that. Um, I think, I think the guys could feel that. Royce Lewis, oh my God, is he real? I had to ask people that, who I was with multiple times. Um, I love him so much. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that he was the guy. Legit. It's, I'm, you know, hours and hours after the game ended. I'm walking home alone. Alone in the urban hometown. So it wasn't, it wasn't just the streak. You know, the streak ending. It wasn't just thinking about the players on this team. It wasn't just thinking about fuck, all, all the other Twins players. That have been through this streak. It wasn't just talking about thinking about all of Twins fandom. Just on top of that, Royce and then Pablo. Yeah, Pablo comes in with the Yohan jersey today. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I lost my chin. I was in the fetal position on the target field concourse crying. It was overwhelming. Overwhelming, just like the, and it wasn't just a game. It wasn't just one game. It was the the threads of storylines you could weave into that. You know, all these teams, all these years, all the players, all the fans. But you know, Chris Hannell's video was so touching. And it really contextualized, you know, not just that it's 0-18. It's, it's not as if the Twins have been getting their asses kicked all these times. They've been in it. You know, it's been a good team. 
They played good games, and then they just like the worst possible shit happened. So this game coming down to it, Twins up three to nothing. Twins up three to one. Um, it just there, there was the constant threat of like one little bad thing happening could have set shit off, and they just didn't. It just didn't, and it kind of. Uh, prove the fact that a lot of us thought that, you know, maybe this team is different. Maybe Pablo is different. Maybe this group of guys is different. And, and you know, we know they haven't been, um, most of these guys haven't been involved in this streak. Sure. But you, there's been many years you could say that. It's been a long streak. Players come and go. So it's kind of tough to, to say that, but man, these guys did it, and they played their asses off. They played a tough game. It was three to one. You know, if they broke the streak on a, on a blowout, that'd have been great. But um, it, it almost feels more impressive that they did it in a game that they had to battle their asses off. You know, th- this feels like a game that the Twins would have lost in most of these other playoff series, um, in most of these other playoff opportunities. So, and they did it. (laughs) No matter how far this team goes, no matter what happens after today, these guys are, uh, oh, we're going to remember these guys for a long time. I'm home. If I spill the beer on you tonight, I apologize. There, There are a few of you. I... I got butterfingers, but yeah. I'm spent. I love you. Thanks for watching. We'll talk again soon.